notes, I heard him screaming. The worst scream ever. And I thought maybe he was having a nightmare, so I started to try to wake him up, and there's blood everywhere. Are the handcuffs necessary? I'm a good child. Little kid is in the window. Banging on the window. The amount of flies in this room, in this window, is it makes you think there is a dead body in this house. This was just the beginning of a despicable crime that left cops horrified. But today we have five more murder cases that will give you chills. I will defend myself. You say you're armed. I am armed. Oh, you got a gun. Down to the face down in the bed, not breathing, not conscious, not alert. Is she breathing? Is she breathing? Then the other option is we're gonna get a search warrant and we'll have yeah, to use it. We uh, just found probably a one year old by himself inside of a house that is horrendously bad. Parents left about 20 minutes ago, locked him inside the house by, by, by himself, took off, neighbor saw him beating on the window, and uh, he's in not great shape. The kid's not in good shape. But as soon as we find these parents, they are going to prison. Little kid is in the window, banging on the window. Oh, 47. He's got a plate of food in front of him. The amount of flies in this, room, in this window is it makes you think there is a dead body in this house. Where's the child? He's in my front row seat right now. Doors are locked. We were able to push the window open, and he's just sitting there, so we scooped him up real quick. We're cleaning him. He's he's covered in either or Did you take pictures? I did. Okay. Um, we have EMS coming to check him out right now. He's got like either a on his leg, or a really bad infected or, or, or something. He's super dirty. Super, super dirty. Is there, is there anybody we need to clear, We need to clear the house. So I'm gonna go through the window, and then uh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go through the window and come through the door. How many people live, live here, guys? Just two? There's two people here? Yeah. How big is this dog? Uh, it's a pretty good sized boxer. Hold, is he mean? On, Trevor, let me call you back. I, I don't know. I don't Nothing. interact with him at all. I don't think the dog's let mean. Me, let me call you back. I've been out here a few times when he was out here, but I, mean, I, really... I can't say for sure. Four Long Beach Police Department, if you're inside, make yourself known. Are there usually this many flies around here? No, they let the dog over here closer to my front door, so I scoop it. I even put nice enough. No, but I mean, is there usually this many flies? Damn it. Dustin. Hey, Dustin. No, Dustin. Yeah. Grab my axe. Why? The door's locked. What do you mean the door's locked? The interior, he's, the kid was locked inside his room. He got it locked from the inside? Yeah. Can you grab my axe, please? Kid was locked in the room. What's up? I'm pissed, dude. Uh, okay. Talk to him. Right. I'm going to grab it just for when you're ready. Yeah. Neighbors called in, said the mom and dad left the kid at home alone. It is in 147. Yeah. So there's going to be... There's a, a, a ridiculous amount of insect out. activity. There's flies everywhere. There's flies all over him. Hi, baby. You need a poop. Okay. Feel it. My right Dude, no. Yeah, just uh, pull. Yeah, from right there. There we go. I'm going to then unlock it and then put it back. There you go. Police department, if you're in here, make yourself known. Police department. They do only have one car, so sometimes it's hard to tell if the mom is there or if she went with him. But they left him with the food. Like, what if he choked? And the food was covered in flies. Where are you going that you can't take your kid? Like, and I mean, this is how psychological, like, things happen. Like, sure. kids that are neglected like this. Luckily, the neighbors spotted the child because it was only a matter of time before the little one became a part of Dark Statistic. What the police don't yet know is that the child has a serious digestive illness and should never be left alone. His parents, 21-year-olds Tyler and Diamond, had no idea they had almost become killers. Now, take a look at the shocking details the police are about to reveal. You should see, so there was a bowl, it had old, old, stale, cold french fries, uh, a chicken tender, like an um, a old McDonald's chicken nugget on top of some gummy bears, and then there was uh, like rice on top of all of it, and then bacon. 
like a strip of bacon, and it was covered in fl in flies. And he's just sitting there, just eating out of it, banging on the window, locked in his bedroom. Not food. No. Because that's the same color as his diapers. All this medication, I took it as the pictures. So. That's the only one that's open of this side. That's not open. Okay. This one might be open. This one I don't even think has been open. I don't know how you're gonna get a two year old to take pills, but Oh well that's what that was gonna be my next question is I don't know. How is Usually it's a liquid that they prescribe. In the meantime, the child was examined at the hospital where they found a severe double ear infection and also an upper respiratory infection. On top of that, the child has cystic fibrosis, a dangerous progressive genetic disease that requires a specific diet as the child cannot digest just any food. And now you'll meet the parents. This is Diamond and Tyler. Tyler. All right, Diamond, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. I'm, I'm Diamond. You're Diamond? Oh, Diamond, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Put, drop that. You and Tyler both are under arrest for aggravated child, child abuse, aggravated child neglect, and multiple other charges forthcoming. Do you have any questions? Your child is going to be remanded into the custody of DCF pending a investigation and a family member to go and uh, check him out. He's got a knife. Do you have anything in your pockets? Anything that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt, hurt, hurt me? All right. Before either one of you say a word, I'm going to read both of you your rights, okay? But we can go that way, right there. Straight out, straight out that way. Let's go. You have anything on you? No, I don't. You have anything in your pockets? No, I don't. All right, go in there and have a seat. Hey, can you sit, sit right here? I got to go in and grab my laptop and stuff. Are you bleeding somewhere? Or is that paint? That, that, that was a pen that broke in my pocket. Okay. Carpentry. Not bleeding. No, sir. Bye, buddy. I think your rod is here. Yeah. Yeah. See you, little guy. <laughs> Tyler, do you know why you're here right now? Can you tell me why you're here? Can you tell me why you guys left him at home? Um, I had a dog within the past two weeks gave birth to 13 puppies. She ate one and then, and then we were so stressed about it. It was like we can't we can't leave her alone. We have to do this routine and so for about three weeks now and she's been inside all day, every day. We're going to pick up her sister. Might as well just, you know, get him his medicine, get him his nap, get him fed. We were driving and we were waiting in traffic and we, we debated. We sat there talking to each other. You know, maybe yeah, we should wait another weekend, but we have stuff to do. Is he capable of contacting emergency services if he needs it? Does he know how to use a phone or Alexa or some type of device to contact you or emergency services if something happens? No. Did you leave something with him? Like a device to be able to reach you or anybody else if something happens? <clears throat> I did notice that the door handle on the door was locked from the outside in yes. his bedroom. Yes. You, did you lock him in before you left? We did. I was going to ask if you've, if you've done that before. I've never done that before. Okay. Um, um, Why didn't you want to take him out? Let me ask you. I have, listen, I have a kid of my own, so <laughs> I understand that toddlers are a lot to handle, but but why didn't you want to take him out with you? It was really hot outside, and last time we took him, he was just, he got hot, and we had to leave early, and he was crying and screaming, and he got tired, and it just, we couldn't do anything, and nobody was willing to take him. Okay. So we thought we could leave him for a bit, and it was, it was my fault that we left him because I, <laughs> you know, I suggested that we left him. What is he diagnosed with? Cystic fibrosis. 
uh, making it hard for him to digest and produce enzymes to get what he needs from the food. Um, so if he doesn't have those little pills, it will just run straight down. It'll, it'll come out in diarrhea. Um, uh, I noticed he had like some, some bites on him. Yeah, some bite yeah we, we were outside. Uh, there's lots of mosquitoes. I, well, I noticed when we went in there that there was like a, there was like a mound of diapers that were like on a changing table. And then yeah. there was like a diarrhea diaper that was underneath, like a bookshelf. Yeah, he strips. Okay. Yeah, that's that, the diaper underneath the pile was mainly her because we used to have this thing. Uh, it, it like compress all the diapers in it, and then you cinch them up, yeah. and it becomes a long thing. But it was disgusting that uh, I couldn't do it. Do you, you guys have flies in the house? Yeah, yeah. There was that that we leave windows open. There's flies outside, and they come in. And what did you guys do? while you were away from the house? Uh, we went to the store, you know, just to hang out and walk away, you know. He has an upper respiratory infection and a double ear infection. Uh, we know about, you know, his respiratory problem. Uh, now the ear infection, it, I haven't been using Q-tips on him, so I don't, I thought that's what caused infections. You put a Q-tip and it causes damage to your eardrum infection. Uh, no, that's, Diamond and Tyler were charged with aggravated child abuse and aggravated child neglect. Although these charges could carry a sentence of up to 35 years in prison, the couple only received 12 months of probation. Howdy, fellas. Hey, what's, what's going, going on? Good. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the martial law has been declared. Are you from Dubai? On a super, on a weave, and a walker? What's going on tonight? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Nothing. What, did you and your, your dad get into it? Yeah, a little bit. What happened? Just physical. Talking. Just talking? Yeah. Okay. Talking about what? Just arguing. He wanted me to come in and shut the door. <laughs> he just wanted you to come in and shut the door? Yes, okay. How'd that turn into an argument? Just not physical. Right. I mean, uh, what caused it to be, be an argument is what I'm saying. He wanted me to shut the door. Yeah. You didn't want to shut the door? He didn't want to shut the door. Okay. Yeah, I, I live here. here. I, I could see how that could be an argument. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you on your medication right now? I don't take medication. They give it to schizophrenics. I'm not schizophrenic at all. Did you threaten your dad today? No, I didn't threaten him. I said martial law has been declared. What do you mean by that? Martial law is you, you got a certain bit of property. We're at war. There's gunshots here every night. Really? Come here. Since you're an officer, come here. Do you see this? It's a sniper shot. Do you see this? It's a sniper shot. See this? Sniper. 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 Sniper, I know. Sniper. You don't have a weapon on you, do you? No. What's what's in your pocket? No, I just feel comfortable putting my hands in my pocket. Martial law has been declared. Now I speak when I in Awaka. I speak Dubai. I don't. So that's a problem. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what was it all about with you and Dad today? Exhausted. What? Exhausted. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. All right. I own the whole fucking. Mouse. The whole, the Mickey, whole Mouse? Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. Okay. There's 250 houses here. We are surrounded. Martial law has been called. I am armed. I will defend myself. You say you're armed? I am armed. Where? In my room. Do you have a gun on you now? I may have. Do you have a weapon on you? I may have. I don't have to tell you, sir. Yes or no? Do you have a weapon on you, dude? Just tell us so we can all be safe. I want to be safe. safe. We're here with your family. I got a family. All right, we all want to be safe. We are telling you to leave him alone. He is a marshal. I'm good. I'm good. These were actually the last moments of 40-year-old Benjamin Wheeler. He had a long history of treatment for mental disorders, but after being released from the hospital, he refused to take his medication, leading to this kind of behavior. Now, the officers are in a tough situation because unstable Benjamin claims he is armed and has disappeared inside the house. This led to the SWAT team being called in, and the real drama began. Oh, you got a gun! Back up, back up. Yeah, Let's go! Go lower, go lower. Benjamin! Go lower, go lower. He's got it. What was that? What was that? Alright. Okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! Get in there
Next leg. Left. Did he stab? Yeah. Lower left leg. Benjamin just attempted to kill three SWAT team members. As you saw, he barricaded himself inside the house and ambushed them with a knife. There was also an exchange of gunfire, and in the end, wounded Benjamin retreated to the basement. Y'all's child? I have a family home daycare. This is one of my clients. Okay. Have we contacted them yet? No, I haven't called anyone or done anything okay. yet. Okay. Go ahead and call them. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go ahead and call them. This was the beginning of an intervention that forever changed the lives of many people. Amanda Hickey, the owner of a family home daycare, called emergency services due to a terrible accident at her home. Upon arrival, the police found an unconscious baby, and while EMS worked intensively to save the child's life, the officers began their investigation. What they would ultimately discover would send chills down your spine. I put him to bed on his back, but his parents say that he could roll over, but I had never seen it. What time did you call 911? I can show you. Um, so I, di I, di I dialed it, and then I think I just kept hitting it, and then I think this, this was them calling you me this back. Works through. So this is the bed that Charlie was in. Okay, I'm just gonna take a I'm quick sorry. overview of the whole room real quick, and okay, then. Uh, sorry. No, you're uh, fine. Can you keep his face out of it. I guess he's probably the best thing to do. I don't know. Uh, he's not gonna be in it. No, okay. There you go. So I laid Charlie on his back and I found him in this corner. In this corner? I see it roll here uh -huh. and into this position here. Was there a mat? Or is that the mat? Is, this is the mat? That's the mat he was laying on? Yeah. So you said you put him down at what time? Um, a little bit after 2 o'clock, I believe. That would be his normal schedule, like 2 or 2.30. Okay, so you came down at 2.45? 3.45. 3.45. I mean... Obviously, if I would have known we were having an emergency, I wouldn't have let him sleep, but I thought he was just tired or still sleeping. Ready? Okay. And there was another child in there, so you put him down and picked one up, right? I did. Six-month-old baby was put down for a nap at this house by, looks like, in-home caretakers came down. Hey, Dylan, what time did they come down and find him? Uh, right before they called. Okay. Put, came down to check on the baby right before they called. Found him face down in the bed, not breathing, not conscious, not alert. So I noticed you have cameras. I do. They record 24-7? Um, I believe so, yeah. Or is it just motion? That's a great question. I'm not positive. Okay, that's okay. Will we be able to access those? I think so. Get the footage. Like the fa like the families don't. It's not like something that I share with the family. That's a clue. No, like, yeah, no, I understand. Like, the where's the mattress pad? She said that was the mattress pad, but it looks like it's. There's no pad in there. I know. That's what I said. But she said that's what he was sleeping on. They're all like that though. He was found face down in that corner. Top left corner. Uh, she put him back. And he, she says he must have rolled over, but they do have a camera in here. I got it. That camera will reveal that Amanda didn't check on Charlie for two hours, but that's not all. Later, by reviewing other cameras, the police will discover what was happening in her house and how she treated the children, but we will save that for the end. For now, the investigation continues, and at this moment, the officers think it was an unfortunate accident. I don't know what to tell them either of <laughs> Tell them a baby had an emergency and... <gasps> I, can, I can escort you out. I, wonder, I just don't know, I don't, I don't know what, to, I just, yes, I'll just need, I'll just need an escort. Just, okay. just yeah. give them, so you hear me give them the same message to everybody. I'm not sure what that message is yet, but I need to tell them all something. We had an emergency, what do I tell them? We had an emergency here yeah, today, emergency. Yeah. and, and I'm going to be closed to my, I don't, my clothes? I don't, <laughs> I mean, as of right now, this is just a, um, I mean, it's all under investigation. 
we we had to figure out kind of a few more things before we can classify it one way or the other. Okay. I don't see any signs of malicious intent here. <laughs> no, I, 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 you can't predict the future. I understand so, that. I just don't know what to tell them. <laughs> to tell them that you know that you had an emergency, a child had to be rushed to the hospital, and leave it at that. Do we have an update on the hospital yet? Yeah. They've given him a bunch of rounds of epinephrine, but it's looking like it's. Medical examiner will do an examination on Charlie tomorrow to try to determine what happened, what what the cause and manner of death is. I haven't found anything today that leads towards any type of malicious intent. You know, I can say that. As a brain. Two days later, after reviewing all the evidence, the cameras revealed that Amanda had been rough with the other children as well, which raised significant suspicions about the case. Therefore, the police knocked on Amanda's door to take her into custody. Hey, Miss Amanda. Oh. Can you step out here for just a minute, please? Once you turn around, face me if it changes on your back, okay? You are being placed under arrest. Okay. Okay. Do you want to talk to me? If so, we can go back to the police department and we can talk. If not, you're going to go straight to the cab jail. Yes. You do want to talk to me? Yes. Okay. So then we'll go back and we'll discuss it at the interview room. And then from there, you'll be released to the jail, okay? Okay. Can I tell anyone inside that that's where I'm going? Who's in there? My daughter. Yeah. Can we call her down to the door? Sure. What was her name? Natalie. Natalie. Miss Natalie? Can you come here for a moment, please? Once she gets to the jail, she'll be able to make phone calls and call and let you know about bonding and things like that. But it's probably going to be a couple of days before she gets a bond. Okay? Okay. You probably need to stop. I, I didn't hear you say felony. I heard you say felony murder, and I, I, I wasn't aware of that. So I probably need some nails here. So if we need to go, I understand. So you don't want to talk to me? Well, I, I would love to, but I don't... That is... Um, I think that's big, and I think I need someone else here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he was standing kind of like this, you know, looking out the window mm -hmm. there. So she comes up, and then, and then Mr. Graham was standing next to him. Mm -hmm. So she walks up. It opens the door, right? And his feet are hitting it, mm -hmm. stopping the door from moment. She does that four times, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you can tell that she gets annoyed by that, and that's when she grabs him, right? Mm -hmm. one, one arm on each, spins around, okay? And there, it's, it's open here, so he doesn't yeah. hit anything. So when he spins around, she's not paying attention. She's still looking at the door, and then drops him. So when he hits the ground, mm -hmm. his feet come up, up over his head, and he kind of rolls up. Uh -huh. And his feet move over to the side. So that shows me a couple of things. One, it wasn't just a gentle set down. Because right. his feet continued to move in the direction that he was last. Mm -hmm. His momentum was going, mm -hmm. right, from the from that sling. Has he ever come home with anything that you can remember? I know I asked that the other day. Yeah, no. Um, no. Amanda Hickey was charged with second-degree murder, reckless conduct, and multiple counts of cruelty to children. She was sentenced to 30 years in prison and five years of probation. I'm so sorry. I'm come so here. Sorry. Come here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're just gonna put handcuffs on just for now. Where's the knife? Sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know what's I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. So where would the knife be? On that side? Behind, right behind, yeah. the knife? I'm okay. so fucking sorry, Mama. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. This is some demonic shit. Your, I'm so hey, sorry. What's your mom's name? <laughs> what's your mom's name? I gotta go with him. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the f*** happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Come over here so we're out of the paramedics way. I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry. Hey, what's your name? Get a seat for me. Sit crisscross on the grass, okay? Okay. Just sit there for a second. You don't have the knife on you, right? No, I swear I don't. I'm sorry. sorry. I don't. I don't. 
I really didn't want things to happen like this. This sucks. I'm so sorry. And then you're probably gonna go to jail. And then I'm gonna live the rest of my life in prison. That's it right, right there? there? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Do me a favor. Going. We're gonna sit crisscross applesauce right here. Okay. Which one is it? First apartment right here. Okay. See through the okay. knife over here. Stay there. I'll look it. It's right there. Okay. Hey, real quick, I'm gonna take you out of handcuffs and I'm gonna take your hoodie off, okay? Okay. That way we can see the cut that you have. Is it just those? Those look old. Are they old? Um, this oh, those? One, this yeah, one, those are a little. This one, those are old. With like... Do you I have saw any this new? One that's brand new. This was brand that's new from one. today? Yes. It's so with the same I knife? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened tonight. So sorry, we'll I figure it out. I have to go be with your brother. Make sure he's okay. I don't know what the f I did. I'm so sorry. I love you. Let's go this way. We're gonna figure it out, okay? I'm so sorry. I don't know what the f happened. These were the moments following a tragic incident where a 12-year-old girl from Oklahoma stabbed her 9-year-old brother while he was asleep. Psychological evaluations later revealed that she was genuinely confused after the murder and didn't understand why she did it. Her mother stated that the 12-year-old had been on ADHD medication which made her very edgy and unstable, so she took her off the treatment on her own. How old is he? He's nine years old. Nine years old, okay. All right. I'll be right here, okay? okay. Just hang tight. Am I going to jail? You're not going anywhere right now. Will I be in jail? What was that? Will I be, will I be in jail? Right now, let's just, you know, really calm down a little, okay? I don't know what we're gonna do right now, all right? Okay. But right now, we're investigating. Okay. I don't know why I did it. Just take I a breath. Let's, let's not think about it. Is my brother in the hospital? He's in the hospital right now, little lady. Yeah. Will he live? Pretty sure he will. There's the doctors. Doctors are all over there. Okay, we'll take care of him. Your mom's over there too. I'm not saying that I will go to jail, but if I were to go to jail, how long would I be there for? So that's, it's kind of a difficult question. Um, so first of all, you're too young to go to jail. Are the handcuffs necessary? I'm a good child. I'll take this guy. I'll bring it with us. We're gonna come over here. Your mom's here too. They just pulled in. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna kind of walk you through everything. And we'll just go from there. Okay, so right now, he's breathing. They're doing everything they can. Uh, but it's, I just, just talked to the doctor and she was saying it's all good things right now. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my God. I have so. Both my kids. I I know that this is a, a probably I mean I can't twelve year old daughter I don't understand why she would do something like that she's never I mean, been aggressive or anything yeah it's not like her like it's like they bully each other like brother and sisters but it's never they never like fist fight or do anything like that what the hell is she I don't understand any of it all I know is I heard him screaming like the worst scream ever and I thought maybe he was having a nightmare so I started trying to wake him up and there's blood everywhere and he said she stabbed me she stabbed me I was like no no and he started going in and out of consciousness and so that's what they told me to put him on the floor do chest compressions and uh, so weird why but would she do that those are answers we're going to be looking for and yeah uh, like it's just weird they don't i mean they don't really get along that great but they, uh, i was, never would have assumed she'd do something like that that's crazy to me she's not a bad kid like she doesn't 
do bad things. You know what I mean? Then I, his own sister, you I, know, that I, <laughs> he will never forgive her. She will never, it will never be, <laughs> there will always be issues now between them. Like, what the hell is she thinking? Well, it doesn't, I mean, she's 12 years old at that age. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the brain. She probably wasn't thinking. But so what we need is a, to get is a search waiver for the apartment so we can go through, have our crime scene detectives go through and do a thorough investigation of this. My daughter says she got a knife and stabbed him three times. Well, we need to find the knife and yeah. we need to do all that. Can I be there? Uh... They just don't know. I don't have anyone there right now. Well, there's nothing, it's not like, I mean, if there's any, like, we're not looking for any like I, I'm not saying I'm just saying like like know, drugs or anything illegal. That. Just, um, it's not for that. I just don't. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to sign it. I just. I'll give you guys. Uh, oh, you. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> go back over there and give them some time. She was upstairs. He was downstairs asleep, and she just heard screaming come down there and she thought that he was just having a nightmare until she saw the blood okay so and after two hours of fighting for his life in the hospital the boy sadly passed away following six months of psychiatric evaluations experts ruled out the possibility that a manic episode was to blame the 12 year old was taken to the family center for juvenile justice and was later charged with first degree murder Where's the guy? Oh, he's over there? Okay. Yes. He's the one that tried running away. I'm not trying to Turn run off. away, dude. I didn't want to focus on you. Where are you going? I'm trying to go home, dude. <clears throat> Get up. I just want to smoke a cigarette. No. Don't reach in. Don't reach in. I smoke a cigarette. Stop. Oh. Hey, stop. You turn around. Oh. You're just rolling around. I'm trying to smoke a cigarette. I'm Put trying to smoke a cigarette. Get down, dude. I'm just trying to smoke a cigarette. Stand up. Well, stand me up. I'm trying to smoke a cigarette. Uh, uh, Keep walking. I'm trying to walk. No, you're not. Shut up. You shut up. Keep walking. This isn't just another DUI case. Drunk driver Nicholas Gorilla was speeding at 75 miles per hour when he crashed into an oncoming vehicle, killing two people. Later at the hospital, his blood alcohol concentration was measured at 0.15, nearly double the legal limit. To make matters worse, after the crash, Gorilla tried to flee the scene, but bystanders restrained him until the police arrived. You have a pulse on her? Yeah. Give me all these people. Put them over there. Everybody. 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 Back that way. Nobody leave, please. Nobody leave. No, sir. If, you, if all you guys could just stand by over there. She was in the vehicle, right? Yeah, yeah. Leave her here. We'll, we'll, we'll get her taken care of. Just mom. If mom can stay with her. No. Hey, hey, they're in the vehicle. No, right here. Everybody, just do me a favor. If you guys just go over there by the units, we'll take care of her right here. So you had just, so you saw it? Yes. Okay. Because he hit that first SUV. Yeah, the one up here, down here. Hit this one head on. In a matter okay. of seconds, but he was going so fast. So, so he, he was he trying was to get stumbling. out. He was stumbling at first and he got up and they were yelling, I'm like, hey, come back. And that's when he took off and that's when they stopped him. He swerved into this lane on the curb, meaning he, he didn't curve correctly okay he swerved deemed their front tire like their bumper uh -huh. he came this way and he swerved again and that's when he hit that car head on right here what's up bro you keep on looking back at me dude. Yeah. Who? God. What, what about him there's, 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 he's not giving you any looks he's, he hasn't said anything to you he's not looking at you anyway I've been telling him, 
Let me have a phone call. Can you give me that? We can't give you a phone call. Okay, just well, yet, man. Let me Put your feet up. Let me take my pants. Can I pick up my pants? Push can I pick up my pants? Push your legs up over can there. Can I pick up my pants? Yeah. Push it down, I'm gonna pick up my pants, dude. All that. There you go. Pick up my pants. Pick up my pants. Shut up. Which arm are you wanting your blood drawn? My well, right. Your right arm? Yeah. Okay, can you lean forward so we can make that happen, please? Can you help? Yeah. Alright. Get the f***er his hands off of me, man. You need to pick up this. Oh, yeah. You got it? Yeah. Relax, dude. You're getting mad for no reason, okay? Oh, that, man. I'm over f abusing this tower and shit. 911, oh. where's your emergency? Hey. Yes. I need uh, a medic over here now. 2214 okay. Clover. Right now. 2214 Clover? Yes, right okay. now. All right, now. what's it for? What's it for? Oh, uh, my old lady, we was drinking and she fell out. I need mean, okay. now. All right, we're getting him over there. Now! Sir, I'm getting him over there. If you don't now! I got to hang up to call. We'll get him there right away. Thank you. 911, where's your emergency? Where are they at? Sir, we have people in route, okay? No, where are the yeah. Sir, we have people in route. We have fire, EMS, and an officer there on their way. They're in route. Yes, Hello. sir. Is she is she breathing? Is she breathing? <laughs> sir. <laughs> is she breathing? What? Are you are you having trouble breathing too? No, I'm all right. <laughs> okay, well is she breathing? Breathe. <laughs> We have what people in route, okay? What the f is? What the f is? Sir, I need you to lower your voice with me. They are on their way. No, I ain't gonna lower my voice. Sir, what they, the f they are on their way, sir. Okay, they will be there in just a second, okay? Number one, where is your emergency? What the f is all that? The ambulance should be pulling up in the next few moments. The fire department. I'm sorry. Tell me what's going on with her. Is she breathing? Who is doing what thing? She's me? drinking. And she fell out. Is she? But is she breathing now? Is she conscious what? now? I'm very good with keep you up. I'm sorry. I, I can't understand you when you're. The man who made this bizarre call for help is Shadrach Ward, and when police arrived at the scene, they found his fiancée, 30-year-old Sabrina Benson, lying on the floor. Initially, Shadrach claimed that they had been drinking alcohol throughout the day and that his fiancée had passed out. But from their very first conversation with him, the police suspected this was not just an unfortunate accident, but a serious crime. She's great. Check for me. Somebody double check for me. Sabrina, can you hear me? She been on any kind of no drugs, taking a night or anything, right? No, no, no. Just, just, just right drinking. Right. We're gonna pull her down here, okay? We're gonna get some. Okay, okay, I'll go, all right? Please. It's gonna be a poop. All the way to the living room. Hold on, Blackie. Bring it right now. Last minute, something. Yep. Car. Right. 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 If needed, begin CPR. Hey, man, can you step out here real quick talk to me? Press the flag blue button. You, hey, you're good. You're good, though. Hey, it's not him. But you can't get in there anymore. Don't touch me! Can I talk to you for a second? Talk to him. What, um, what are you doing? What, 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 what happened? Like, you just got to walk out. Man, we have a drink. That was it. Okay. Did she stay here? Yeah, yeah, she lived with my, my fiance. Okay, it's your fiance? Yeah. Okay. And then, um. Man, keep the bullshit. Listen, man, what you want to what you want to know? Listen, bro. Come on, man. I just want to know, like, do you care if we look around the house just make sure there wasn't any signs? Man, God damn it. Come on. No, yeah, no. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. You need to chill out. Ain't no looking around the house and all that dumb shit, bro. You need to chill out. I'm worried about her. You right. need to come down, bro. Look 
because somebody's well, going to come back later and say, Well, don't come oh, at me like that. Yeah. I'm just I'm coming at you like, Calm down. like anybody else, right. man. Right. All right? I'm not trying to insinuate that you've done anything wrong, okay? That shit's done. But what I'm saying is, if you don't mind, would you care if we looked around real quick just to make sure like there's nothing, no, you know, there's no right signs now. or whatever? Ain't no he ain't, he, he ain't in this okay, right Okay, mind. okay. Well, then, then right the other mind. option is we're going to get a search warrant and we'll have to... Y'all, I don't give a fuck about the search warrant. Calm down, fine. bro. Chill out. That's fine. I'm just trying to rule it out, man. But it's... Because most people don't just, like just fall out. Like bro. That. So just... That's okay. Calm down. First thing y'all want to do is get searched. Well, because we don't know what happened, okay? Chill out. Man, come on. I ain't know what the f happened to her, bro. She hollered my name, and I ran to her. Don't come to me with no motherfucker like that. Come to me straight. Oh, oh damn, damn, dude. You shut the f up. Chill the f out. I ain't fucked about that. If you're going to take me to jail, take me to jail for whatever you're going to take me to jail for. You ain't got to go to jail, so cheap. I'm worried about my mother all day. She fell out and she hollered my name. I thought she was just bullshit. Don't come to me with that shit. I'm worried about her. If you got anything, bro, you come to me later. He can't go. He can't go. That's how it all started, but later the medical examiners determined that the cause of death was strangulation. Eventually, Shadrach confessed to strangling his fiancée during a verbal altercation, and he was charged with murder. 